What's going on everybody? Joe here with Excursion Cuts. Just wanted to make a quick video uh, and highlight a feature that came out um, probably well over a year ago in Adobe's uh, Creative Cloud. It's called Master Clip Effects. Now, I haven't used this one too often over the past few years because quite frankly, I just haven't really seen a need for it. But I'm currently working on a project where I think this is going to come in really handy. Let's take a look. All right, so let me go ahead and give you an idea of what my project looks like here. Um, I'll select it. If you hit the backslash key, what it will do is condense your entire project, regardless of its duration, into a single view right here. So for the sake of the screen capture, you guys can kind of get a feel for what this project looks like. Now I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit and give you an idea of what it, how it breaks down. So this is just a vlog, uh, travel vlog that I just did in New York. And as you can see, when I got back, I filmed a lot of, you know, talking head, describing what I was going to do in the vlog. And then I've got footage of us actually in New York. And then I periodically come back to these clips of myself talking. I filmed all of this all at once. If you look up here in the uh, source monitor, I basically set the camera up, got the lighting set up, and I just let the camera roll for about 30, 40 minutes. I covered all of the points. And I took that single clip onto the timeline and I cut it up. So it's not all in a single spot. It's not all in the same place, right? So I've got a couple of clips here. Then I cut to some B-roll. I go back to these talking points. Um, then I'm jumping over here and I'm in a vlog. But again, anything where you see here, this is a single clip. This is all sourced from the same clip. So obviously this clip is going to need some color correction. Okay, there was some... I had a colored light shining on the wall that really washed out this entire clip. So what I want to do is apply a color correction to a single clip and then just have it repeat anywhere to that clip. So here's what this allows you to do. If I come up here with the clip selected and I click on master clip, that will then load a preview frame over here into the source monitor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, let's find some color correction effect right here. Instead of dragging this onto the clip, I'm going to drag this up here into the source monitor. And then you can see it over here under master. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a quick edit. I'm going to smooth out my skin a little bit, boost up the sharpening. I'm going to move this over to the end so it renders last. Add some basic color correction with a three-way color corrector. So I need to drop the blacks just a little bit. Maybe raise the midtones a little bit. Highlights look okay. Starting to clip there at the top. Boost the contrast. Just a hair. Maybe raise the mids. So here's the weirdness going on with the wall. There's actually a blue light shining on the wall and I can actually see part of the gel. And I'll show you guys another way to clip that out in just a moment. But I'm gonna grab a gradient. I'm going to flip that over to this wall. Now let's just change this color to match the blue that was actually shining on the wall. All right. Another shameless vignette. Maybe increase that just a hair. So I think for our purposes here, we're in pretty decent shape. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. What this has done is now every single clip that came from this original source clip has that color correction plugin applied. And this goes throughout my project. It doesn't matter that there are gaps in between of vlogging or gaps in between of B-roll sequences. Anywhere bits and pieces of this clip appear in my project will now have that color correction applied. Now, something else that's really cool. I mentioned that I can see a little bit of my gel and a little bit of that light on the stand. I'm gonna go over here and grab the transform effect, put that up here. Then I'm just gonna go to scale and I'm gonna simply scale up this clip just a hair so that I don't see that anymore. And that will now be rippled all the way through these clips. All right guys, hope you found that quick tip useful. Master clip effects. 
comes in really handy, allows you to apply an effect or a series of effects to every instance of a clip that you have sourced over here in your source monitor. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I cover travel videography and travel photography. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.